Hello, wonderful interwebs. It is I, David, sweatiest of all the Hewlett's with another burn and learn. I'm in the fan cave, hanging out, um, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with this printer. I'll get to that in a second. 65 minutes on the torture device. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a burn and learn, and this is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, complaining way possible, guilting myself into doing it because if I don't, if you don't see a video, it means I have not exercised. I have exercised and I've got this sweaty video to prove it. Ooh, and the t-shirt. Check it out. This is the old, well, it's my new t-shirt, but it's the old logo for Red Giant. So Aaron and the lovely Marta, um, well, Aaron's quite lovely too, um, sent this to me. Uh, I was so taken with, with, with Aaron's t-shirt. I just think it's so cool, kind of retro design. Very sweaty now. I apologize for that. Um, but it just shows how much I love it. I can't take it off. Well, I'll take it off now, probably. I probably should. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, they sent me this t-shirt. I, I thank them very, very much for that. Um, and you should definitely, by the way, check out their software because, like, if you've... Any movie you've seen and loved basically has Red Giant stuff in it. I mean, they do the... They're, they're responsible. They're, their software is responsible for all the Iron Man stuff, for the most of the Avengers stuff, Star Wars, Mandalorian, you name it. It's They do all the coolest stuff. And, frankly, they are just... It's the loveliest company on the planet. I can't get over how much, how well those people work together, how incredibly sort of diverse their interests and lives are, and yet how well they they bond and and uh, and frankly their software shows the, their love of VFX. So this is not an ad. I just want to be very clear. It's not an ad. Yes, they send me T-shirts, but I love their software and I and I, I really. Just, I just love the way they do business. Anyways, um, and I'm really excited to have them bring this Maxon C uh, Cinema 4D stuff in too because I just, the idea of, of the Red Giant culture expanding into the Maxon world is just very, very, oh God, that's like, that's like VFX paradise, really. Anyways, today, uh, the learn part of my burn and learn. Uh, 65 minutes went by so quickly because I have finished the C programming component, well, the first part of the C programming, it's basic C programming. I, I am no genius. I have a rough idea of, of, of pointers now, which is really fun. And then they then they throw the pointers to pointers, which is, they didn't even bother trying to get, they're just like, ha-ha, pointers also can be pointed to pointers. So basically pointers, instead of pointing to a number in memory, you point to the memory location of that number. And there are many advantages to that. Um, and uh, of which I'm sure I'm going to get into because I'm now in the embedded controller section, which is the reason I took this in the first place, because I got into computers because of the hardware. I liked building computers and pulling them apart and putting them back together again and formatting hard drives and figuring out interrupts on the old 8088s and all. Oh, gosh, just glorious. And then from there, I got into the programming side of stuff. The programming just like, oh, a whole other world of joy right there. But between the two worlds lies this sort of strange zone of, of um, programming, which is quite, uh, quite difficult to read, difficult to do, difficult to get your head around, because it, it, sort of, it, it, uh, it uh, bridges that world between hardware and software. And C programming for embedded controllers is getting me closer to that bridge between the two. I mean, we're not talking, you know, we're not at the binary stage yet, or, or maybe we are, I don't know, I haven't got that far in this, in this course, but... Um, uh, I'm really, really excited to explore this because this is the reason why I wanted to do C is I wanted to be able to get into the sort of direct manipulation of memory and stuff, uh, keeping uh, keeping programs lean and mean and, and able to run on tiny little uh, little um, uh, microprocessing units. So, um, so I'm learning all about floating point units. I'm learning all about how these tiny processors uh, are very restrictive in their, in how much memory they have and how much speed they have and how much power they can use because embedded systems generally are all um, configured manually, like they're all designed to work with, 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 with separate things that have to be plugged in. Um, they uh, are, uh, are also designed to have very small amounts of memory because then they take up less chip space, which means that they're, they're smaller and more uh, 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 you know, power, they're, they're less power hungry and they're also cheaper to make. And that's the whole point because you want these things embedded little things everywhere. Um, they use this great example of, they sort of go through what a microwave oven has to do and all the things that this little um, embedded system has to be able to run. It really made me want to take the uh, microwave apart, but I, I think my wife had may have, have a thing or two to say about that. But I just love that I'm getting into this direct connection between the code you're writing 
and the actual hardware of these things. I just, oh, it's just, I am very, very, very um, uh, eager to keep, uh, to, to, to dive further into this because it's just, um, it's just an extraordinary uh, area for me. It really is that blending of man and machine, understanding what the machine's thinking. Uh, speaking of understanding what the machine's thinking, I've got my gorgeous Prusa here. I built this thing a few years ago from a kit. I loved every second of it. It was a wonderful process. I love this printer. This printer is just like, it's bulletproof. It's worked for me so beautifully for so long, but now I'm trying to print this giant thing for the Steam Sisters. Wretched Steam Sisters! They're fabulous. Um, and so I've got this original Prusa i3 Mark II, um, and for some reason, there is nothing I can do to get any filament to stick to it. I've done everything. I've scraped it. I've, I've glued it. I've, I've cleaned it with the, the isopropyl alcohol, 99%, all that stuff. I've tried a mix of the alcohol and the glue to give it a nice little paste. I've tried everything. Um, leveling, all sorts of stuff. I cannot get it to stick. I'm wondering if maybe it's too cold down here, uh, maybe too sweaty, <laughs> um, uh, or maybe I've just worn it out. I mean, I've used this thing so much, it has been carried back and forth from the school for Tech Bandits for ages. Oh, Tech Bandits, have you signed up for the newsletter yet? Oh, I thought the joy was just doing the Tech Bandits, but no, no, I have furthered my enjoy, my enjoyment of this process by doing a newsletter where I get to explore some of the, some of the, some of the little you know, tangents that come up because of, uh, of tech bandits that we don't have time to do in the little lunch period that we have. We had someone come in early to lunch. Someone, one of the kids came in before lunch. She was so excited to do tech bandits that she didn't want to go to lunch. She wanted to eat her lunch there with me and Mike, um, and get a head start on the programming stuff. I just, I, I could not be happier. It was like 10 out of 10, I said to Jane. It was a 10 out of 10 Tech Bandits. Um, and I have a newsletter to back it up uh, with some really fun stuff, including sort of uh, um, the mummification process um, and uh, um, hieroglyphs and, uh, you know, 3D printing and, and all sorts of amazing creepy stuff, which is really fun, uh, both creepy and cool and techy and all sorts of... Anyways, I've just had a lot of fun with this week's one. I, and I, So I, I, I invite you to please um, sign up for... It. Uh, you can do that on thetechbandits.com, um, and uh, I mean it's free. It's totally free. Just I just want to share the. I, wanna, I just want to geek out with more people. So um, so there you go. There you have it. Um, I should change. I should have lunch. I should fix this. I gotta get this. It's gotta work for the Steam Sisters. I've gotta get it to work. Um, so until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come or there I go. Cheerio.